Gary, and welcome to another Friday wrap up with the power of prudence. This is where we take the current events and the happenings of the past week and have a discussion to talk about things that pertain to your safety and your personal security. Monday is Halloween and so this weekend and, and Monday night, a lot of people will be celebrating and going to parties or taking the kids out to enjoy Halloween. Given the current concerns about crime, random violence, fentanyl coming across the border, you know, it, could that get into your kids' candy? It, you know, there's a, a time where maybe there's a little more angst than usual about Halloween. Personally, I can't think of Halloween anymore uh, because a few years ago I had the adult son of a friend who was in a on Halloween evening on Halloween evening was in a well uh, a well-known restaurant in Northern Virginia in you know a nice neighborhood and um, he was at the bar there and wound up getting stabbed and very nearly died uh, on Halloween just a few years ago and you know there's other lessons that we talk about in the power of prudence regarding um, the type of unintended confrontation he wound up in and situational awareness especially in tight quarters but he got stabbed three times and um, most people the people the bartender and people around him thought it was a Halloween prank so he was bleeding out on the floor his girlfriend screaming and very nearly bled to death uh, because they thought it was a Halloween prank the guy got away was never caught but hey, that's that's <laughs> that's uh, always comes to my mind uh, when I think about Halloween and Halloween approaches and again, you know, it, it's a time, particularly given the violence and random violence of today, to pay attention to what's going on. So let's, on this Friday wrap up, let's talk a little bit about Halloween and how you might prepare for yourself and any fun activities you might be doing, or if you're taking your kids out trick-or-treating. So... As always, everything to do with your personal security and safety begins with situational awareness. So whether you're out on your own or going to a parties or you're taking your kids out, hey, don't have the dadgum phone out. Be aware of what's going on in your surroundings. Watch other people. Watch vehicles. See what's going on. Don't be distracted. So, hey, your kids can have fun, and you can have fun, but you have to know what's going on around you and watch the other people. The other thing that we um, talk about, or one of the other things that happens is vandalism. Right? Okay, Halloween, people break pumpkins, whatever, but these days, because people are dressed up at Halloween and there's more of an excuse for people to come to people's doors at night, um, you know, I think there's a higher chance that someone would you know, try to kick in a door, vandalize your home, or do some other act um, of destruction or maybe even attempt violence at your door. So pay attention. To who comes to your door nowadays we all want to rely on ring and you know who comes to your doorbell you know, okay it's halloween i want to have somebody at the house watching out the door to see what goes on in the periphery not you know on the periphery not just what's right there in front of that ring or whatever company whatever product you have doorbell so Pay attention to what's going on outside your home. Um, if you're out with your kids, inspect the candy. I mean, you know, that was an old-fashioned thing. Back in my day, it were, you know, at one point it was, 
watch out for people putting razor blades in apples um, or other fruit. So, but now with this fentanyl that looks like kinds of little candies kids get, you do have to watch out. So tell your kids not to eat candy while they're out collecting it as you're going around unless they bring it to you and you look at it first. And you know the things to check for. Look to see if there's anything unusual about the package. Don't accept any homemade, non-commercially packaged food. And then you look at the package to see if you think it's been altered, been opened before, glued back together, whatever. Just but check it. But hey, I, I, I would let my kids have candy. I would want to look at it first. I mean, hey, we want to be careful, but you want them to enjoy this and make memories. The other thing when we go back to situational awareness is hey. Don't be that parent that's walking around like this with your phone, staring at that, looking at your kids. When you're doing that, it's like this. And you're not like, you know, spreading out your peripheral vision and gathering in what's going on around you. And, you know, let's make memories for the kids, not take pictures that you can post to show people memories. This is about having fun, and making memories for your kids. So, you know, that's my second pitch for situational awareness uh, and not being distracted by, by cameras and uh, devices. So, I think for me, that's it with kids. Um, but it's also a time where many adults are going to parties are going to clubs and places. The, the guy that I am aware of that got stabbed, it was two couples in this very nice bar on Halloween. And as they got ready to go, you know, he went to the restroom, came back, some guy had insinuated himself with the other three. He stepped in between them and said, hey, we're leaving and we're gonna go, that guy took offense at it, but he was already primed, because he pulled out a knife from inside his uh, jacket with a five inch blade. So you don't go walking into a bar with a knife with a five inch blade, you know, unless you're looking for trouble. And, uh, you know, there, in another lesson we'll talk about what to do, not to do in a situation like that. But again, you know, it's an adult activity. There's alcohol, there's, um, and, and you should enjoy that, right? And have it, but you got to pay attention and, and be prepared. So, and if you have tweens and teens or adult children living at home, Hey, this is a time where everybody wants to be out and have that party. For tweens and teens, I teach the four S's, which are don't be out at a stupid time. You know, hey, that good thing you think is going to happen between midnight and 2 a.m., more, more bad things are going to happen. Don't be at a stupid place. Hey, you know, that bar that's known for fights, or that place that you're not really supposed you're not supposed to be at, but you want to go anyway. Uh, that's a place where trouble's going to happen. And don't let your teens and tweens go out for the evening with stupid people. Haven't we all had that friend? That's that person that just tends to get you into the wrong thing at the wrong time. Don't let your kids on Halloween be hang out or go somewhere with stupid people. And last, hey, don't be doing stupid things. It's Halloween. There's, you know, like I said, there's going to be alcohol. There's going to be people, you know, it's the night. It's a night where people put on masks or in costume and get to kind of have some uh, chance to, to, 
you know, let it all hang out. And this isn't the night uh, to do stupid things. So again, hey, the four S is just, and there's a whole class on this, but it's don't be out at a stupid time. Don't be in a stupid place. Don't be with stupid people and don't do stupid things. And hey, other than that, hey, it is, Halloween is a fun time. Um, you know, it, it, it is a chance to get out and see neighbors, be in your neighborhood, to have some fun and enjoy it, particularly if you have kids uh, of a younger age. So enjoy those festivities. But these are times where crime and violence are more prevalent. So maintain your situational awareness. Be vigilant at home when you're out on your own, you know, out at dinner, out at a party, or out with your kids. Pay attention to what's going on and make decisions as you see things happen. And be prudent. A, you know, when, if you think something's wrong or might go wrong, take action. Stop people. Be that stick in the mud that says, hey, let's uh, just check this before you do this. Because, uh, you know, an ounce of prevention is the same. Hey, and those are just some tips for this Halloween in this time of increased violence, random violence, incivility. Just, you know, we're in a world today where people are looking for an excuse to try to get in somebody's face or, or, or to hurt somebody. So, again, let's enjoy it. And, hey, please uh, thank you for... You know, I want to thank you for tuning in. Please subscribe and like to the YouTube channel and our other social media. And we'll see you next Friday on another Friday Wrap.